Hello viewers, welcome to a lovely Monday in our brand new AI generated future. Now, whenever something involving ChatGPT makes the rounds in the news, it always seems to be a really big deal. I'll be honest with you viewers, when ChatGPT was first announced, my reaction was, oh, this isn't going to be anything big really. You know why? It's because I already had access to very similar technology to ChatGPT, almost the exact same models, in fact, the models that ChatGPT were based off of inside of OpenAI's Playground demo, and most of you viewers at home might not even know what OpenAI's Playground demo is. It is quite similar to ChatGPT, but you can actually manipulate the way the AI interacts quite a lot more than ChatGPT, which is why I don't really understand jailbreaking ChatGPT all that much because it's a lot easier to quote unquote jailbreak ChatGPT inside of OpenAI's little playground demo. At any rate, of course I was wrong. ChatGPT is the most popular form of AI out there. ChatGPT is mainstream. Everybody knows about it. The reason it became so popular is because it is so easy to use and it just makes sense. And of course, ChatGPT is a pretty personal thing. However, this seems like it's going to be changing soon based off of some rumors and also a screenshot. Now, the same person who is bringing us these rumors of these brand new ChatGPT features is the same person who actually brought rumors about the chat sharing ChatGPT feature. Apparently, he brought those rumors on the sharing feature a week before they happened, so he was completely accurate on those, and we literally have a screenshot. So uh, this feature, it makes sense. It makes sense that it's coming. So all of this information is being brought to us today, courtesy of the Rundown AI, which is a really great newsletter. I follow them on Twitter, but they also have this website here. It's run by Rowan Chung, and he is a fantastic AI guy. What's really funny is I wouldn't have access to the direct source because funny enough, I'm not a part of the Reddit ChatGPT community. I don't really use Reddit that much personally, but now it's a private community, so I'm not allowed to join it and find direct info. Anyways, what's great is Rowan Chung is actually just giving us all of the same information that was found on Reddit. OpenAI appears to be gearing up for another larger update to ChatGPT, so this isn't going to be something small like the little Bing tweak to the AI searching function or even the sharing function where you can share ChatGPT prompts. This is possibly a highly anticipated business version of ChatGPT. You know, it is really funny because ChatGPT is useful in like all aspects of life. So it's useful at home where I've been asking it, for example, about settings on this brand new camera I purchased. And instead of reading through the owner's manual, that thing's able to just give me step-by-step -step guides on how to change very specific settings. It's funny because a lot of businesses are now getting into ChatGPT because of course they're profit first. They want to make money and other businesses while well, they're using ChatGPT. So to stay competitive, they have to implement their own AI. It depends on the business though. As you can see, just from a simple Google search, there are a bunch of very large companies that are just telling their employees, you're not allowed to use ChatGPT because they don't want ChatGPT, AKA OpenAI and Microsoft to have authorized access to their sensitive information. Let's see if Google's Bard can give us a nice little snippet of this. Amazon has reminded its employees that ChatGPT is not authorized to access or store sensitive information. Any such use would be a violation of company policy. Amazon has also warned employees against sharing confidential company information with ChatGPT. The company cited instances in which the chatbot's responses looked similar to internal data. Yeah, as the story goes, Amazon employees, this was like right when ChatGPT was announced, by the way, and released, they were like 10xing their coding abilities in a matter of hours by using ChatGPT, and the code that ChatGPT was outputting looked very similar to some of that internal Amazon code, which of course is very confidential and sensitive. They don't want OpenAI having access. But other companies like JP Morgan, Chase, Verizon, Accenture have taken similar steps to limit the use of ChatGPT over concerns about confidentiality financial information. But here is why this leak about an anticipated business version of ChatGPT is so important. It's possible that OpenAI might be developing a business version of ChatGPT that absolutely would not 
be snagging and stealing and utilizing and retraining on company data, it's unclear whether companies would still trust OpenAI, even if they say, hey, you know, your data is secure. We're not using your data at all. ChatGPT isn't absorbing it. But I mean, if, if they could build that trust with companies, it could become a huge enterprise for OpenAI to sell this business pro version of ChatGPT with all these features meant specifically for enhancing your business. I could see a future in which you couldn't even run a business that was successful without ChatGPT because that's how much more competitive your business is by utilizing this AI tech. Anyways, I won't hold back any of this other information from you guys. Yes, this Reddit user came across a new ChatGPT interface while digging into the source code of ChatGPT, which is the same exact way they uncovered the original chat sharing feature a week before its release. So yeah, the leaked screenshot showcases workspaces, which allows users to create profiles that ChatGPT can readily remember. So this is a little bit more fine tuning that you can do to the ChatGPT model. And we'll get into that and I'll, I'll show you guys a little demo. And this also seems to hint at very specific file uploads. So taking a nice close up look at this screenshot, we can see up at the top, it says untitled workspace. So when you think workspace, you think business. And this does look a little bit more like a business version layout, not something that you would necessarily use for personal use. Maybe it kind of reminds me of the Outlook Microsoft 365 stuff. And you can see there's actually a email at the bottom. So maybe this is your Microsoft email, because as you guys know, Microsoft and OpenAI are very, very closely partnered. So viewers on the right hand side here, you can see my files and my profile. And those are our two new options options here on the side. We'll start off with my files. Obviously, they have a little test PDF that's been uploaded inside of ChatGPT. You can see it's like an uploading file thing where you just click the button and drag the file in. If you guys remember back to Code Interpreter, which is an extremely exclusive ChatGPT feature, PDFs were the main thing you could upload, but it wasn't just limited to PDFs. So we'll have to see what kind of different files can be uploaded into ChatGPT. And it makes me think, you have to wonder, was Code Interpreter just like a little beta test for a more extensive business version of ChatGPT? It is very, very much possible because most of what Code Interpreter was able to do, truthfully, was business focused stuff, mostly data analytics, which is pretty much useful in every business case. Anyways, we're moving now onto my profile. So it seems like they are trying to add different profile features into ChatGPT. Specifically, it says add any information that you'd like ChatGPT to remember about you and your preferences. So this could be anything. You just type it in and the AI interprets it. I'm going to give a demo of a extremely similar feature. And I, I think it's almost a direct implementation that OpenAI has inside of their playground demo. And again, guys, that playground demo is the same thing that I mentioned earlier in the opening of the video. How it works essentially would be let's pretend ChatGPT that you are a coding master. You know everything about coding, or this could even be where you're implementing your sensitive information. I could even envision a future in which companies actually devise their own ChatGPT prompts for you to upload in all of these specific workspaces. So it's like, oh, the marketing team has their own specific profile that they work on. And the coding team has their own specific profile with these specific ChatGPT preference settings that literally just come in the form of a few paragraphs. So these work a little bit deeper than a prompt necessarily. So it's like a pre prompt you could think of. Anyways, this is all really exciting. I love to see leaked screenshots like this. So awesome. So we'll have to see if these features are a part of OpenAI's apparent plan to introduce a business variant of ChatGPT. I actually did not know that they had a a plan to introduce this business version. Oh, and it looks like they're a little bit behind on this business version. Loose promises, OpenAI, loose promises. You wanted this by April 2023. It is now June. Additionally, a rollout of new privacy measures was discussed with the new business version of ChatGPT no longer employing user data to train models. Okay, yeah, so my prediction that I was speaking about earlier in the video seems to be quite correct. Very exciting. Anyways, viewers, this is OpenAI's playground demo. As you can see, this is quite a lot more advanced than ChatGPT, but it works in a pretty similar way. You can save presets, you can type prompts in and essentially use this as a, a text box. We've got settings like temperature, maximum length, top P, frequency penalty, presence penalty. 
I've actually done a video in the past going through all these settings. Maybe I'd have to make a new one at some point. But anyways, if we go to the chat mode, this uses the chat variants of OpenAI's language models, specifically, obviously, GPT-4, their best model at the moment. You have over here on the, the left-hand side a system prompt. And this guides ChatGPT a little bit more than a prompt would. And again, the guys, this is reminding me exactly of this little profile section here, where instead of being a profile specifically, this is this is the system prompt. It works on a deeper level. So I could say something like, you only speak in whale sounds, and you say hello, and it might just give us whale sounds. There we go. Very funny, GPT-4 whale sound, okay, with like an, a whole emoji that it tried to create. I think that's supposed to be a little whale. That is the last output that I was expecting out of uh, GPT-4. But anyways, you could see how manipulatable this is. And obviously this is our chat, this is mine. I could even set this to a user prompt, for example, inside of this OpenAI Playground demo. It's really like almost in a more advanced version of ChatGPT in a lot of ways. I recommend you guys give the Playground a shot. But you know, in a business use case, it could be, here's all the company information about our tractors or whatever, like if you were a tractor company, I don't know, giving like the prices and all the descriptions of, of all of the stuff, maybe, I don't know, all the information could be in there in that little system prompt. And I actually use this to create a little mid-journey bot that creates and generates really good mid-journey prompts by putting all that mid-journey information inside of the system prompt. Could be very similar to this. Anyways, viewers, that's your little ChatGPT update news blurb of the day. I know it's a shorter video, but I thought it'd be exciting to uh, take a look at this new ChatGPT rumor because it's quite a big one. I would love to see these features implemented inside of ChatGPT. And I don't know, if they release a business version, I feel like I'd, I'm obligated to test it out, but I'm not sure how expensive that would be, I imagine like ChatGPT for enterprise and it'd be like these expensive yearly plans for a number of seats on this ChatGPT web interface. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. To be honest, I feel like that system prompt thing should already be a feature inside of ChatGPT Plus because the more manipulatability you have over these AI models, usually the better you can get them to react for your specific use cases, especially if you're not really chatting with it and using it more like a tool, which I do like 50% of the time at least. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.